Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 2. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Arosa line by Rivet Games. So the line itself is going to be approximately one hour long, so this is going to be quite a long video, so go grab a copper. So we'll just set the train up, while I'm just setting the train up here, let me just say we are going southbound to Arosa Station. Let's just take a quick look outside, let's have a quick look at the train. As always, the trains in Train Sim World would be absolutely fantastic. We've got passengers on board there, they look really happy. We've actually got to wait till 11.08.40 before we can go. We're going to do a snowy run today. Let's just shut the doors anyway. Let's get ready. We're going to do a snowy run today. Lots of snow. Slightly misty. And this is going uphill which is which is easier for my first video i've chosen to go uphill going downhill is slightly more difficult but going uphill is real easy so let's release the brakes a little bit of throttle away we go We're actually going through a road section here in a little village and there is some mirrors on the train that we can actually switch on here. Um, presume you have the mirrors on on the uh, on the road sections even though we can't actually see anything in the mirrors. It's, uh, it's nice to see them actually um, come out and actually work there. I think for performance reasons we don't actually get a proper view in their mirrors. Now I don't think we're actually stopping at every station on the line today. I believe this particular timetable um, route only stops at a selected few stations. I've been really looking forward to this DLC from Rivet Games coming out because I own some of their train simulator routes, um, Swiss routes, and they are exceptionally good. One of my favourites. So I've got high hopes for this one. So we're approaching our first stop. We'll have to be careful because um, it looks like we've got a red light up ahead as well. Don't want to fail the. Uh, don't want to fail this route at <laughs> this early stage. Board. Load the passengers up. We're actually on time at the moment. They don't seem to be getting on 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 or off the train. Actually, They're just standing there wobbles.
wait until 11, 12, 20. Well, we shut the doors anyway. Keep the warmth in, Wobbles. Oh, this red light changes. 495 metres down the line, apparently there's a red light according to the top right hand corner. Oh, it's gone green now. Right, release the brakes. We're all good. Away we go. So the next station is 6.4 kilometers up the line and our estimated time of arrival is 11.25. Which I will be amazed if we actually keep to schedule on this uh, on this route. This is not my first go actually. I've, I've been up and down this line um, quite a few times over the weekend, over the Saturday and Sunday. It's an exceedingly late Sunday night as I'm recording this. Um, so hopefully this will be up on YouTube uh, in the coming week. I don't know why I told you that because uh, you already know. Uh, but um, yeah, I've been up and down it a few times and one thing I have struggled with is keeping on time. So I don't expect on this run to actually to the scheduled um, times. So we will shortly be going into the mountains on this lovely snowy day. Next video we will do perhaps an autumn run or a summer run and uh, of course, we will. Uh, I will do it downhill. Like I previously mentioned, going downhill is slightly more difficult. And of course, if it was a sunny day, we have got the blinds up here um, to stop the sun from, uh, from blinding us. The blinds work in the loco. the start of our climb up the mountain now. Let me just put the mirrors in there. So I hope you've got a cuppa, hope you've got a brew. We've probably got approximately another 50 minutes of line ahead of us before we reach our final destination. So we couldn't, we 
got five kilometers to travel. Approximate estimated time is 11.25. Going to be interesting to see if we can actually maintain the estimated time of arrivals here. So far playing this, I've really struggled to, uh, to keep the train on its, uh, on its schedules. And I'm over speeding as well, so let's just see what happens. As I've mentioned previously, actually, if you've not played this, actually going up is quite easy. Coming down the other way, it's, it's slightly more difficult. You've got to balance the brakes, do a lot of brake control um, on the return journey. too sure for mentioning this but I have I think I have switched on the advanced warning system there is an advanced warning system on this train and it does work however I switch it on via the keyboard and there's no acknowledgement you don't get an acknowledgement when you actually switch it on so I'm not too sure if it is on I'm working, we will find out, but the advanced warning system does work on the train. I'm not too sure if you can actually switch it on in the actual locomotive itself. I, I switch it on on the keyboard, but when you switch it on on the keyboard, there's no acknowledgement that it's actually on, so I'm not too sure. If it is on, we will find out, we will find out, something might happen, we might get a few flashing lights come on, and a few sounds from the warning system, further up the line, we'll have to wait and see.
one kilometre to go and yes, we're going to be late for this one. I do struggle to keep on time on this line. I don't know if you chaps can do it, but uh, I very often am late. Right hand corner, our little help icons are saying we are approaching a red light. So, we're going to have to be careful here. I should perhaps be thinking about slowing down. This could go pear shaped. Or pear shaped, pear shaped. I think we're going to have to have a little bit of emergency brake in here, Wobbles. You're going to have to hit the emergency brake. Here we go. Well, at least we didn't go through the red light. Passengers and all their luggage were just thrown everywhere. Let's, uh, let's open the doors. I don't actually think any of the passengers actually um, want to get on my train after seeing how abruptly I stopped the train. They've changed their minds. Right, lock the doors. And yes, we've got green light. Away we go. So we're not actually stopping at the next destination there. Top left, it's top. Can't get the words out, it's because I'm in this tunnel. Top left hand corner, it says, go by a location, St. Peter something or other. It's in a foreign language, so I can't pronounce that. I'm not even going to try it because I'm from Stoke.
Approaching this platform here, but we haven't actually got to stop here, unless there's a red light, of course. And we're, and we're currently on a green, so it looks okay. There's a red light. Okay. So we've actually. Oh, that's the advanced warning system. Lights are all flashing and bleeping. Something's bleeping at me there. 
I know nothing about it. I don't know anything about this train. It could go pear-shaped here any moment. Oh, few, few hoots of the horn just to warn them passengers there. That we are coming through. And we've got to stop here. There should be a halt sign. We want to stop just by the halt sign. Well, I think that's a halt sign just in front of us there on the right-hand side. We don't actually want to go past that. Hit the brakes, wobbles. I'm sure that's a halt sign. I could be wrong. So, we've hit a red. We've hit a red light. So we're not picking up passengers here. We've just got to sit and wait for this light to change. So I suspect the reason we've actually got to stop here is because there's a train actually coming down. Now this is probably where a lot of people may give up and say the game's broke, it doesn't work. And you see the various comments on the Steam forums. I can't get past the red light and such and such. Well, I think we just need a little bit of patience here. I don't know how long we're going to have to wait. Contact signal it. No, nope, denied. So, we've got to wait for that signal to change. And I'm sure there's another train going to be coming down. And, and we've just got to have a little bit of patience. Don't go jumping on steam, saying you can't get past the red light. We'll see. A little bit of patience, let's just wait. We'll just have to wait it out. So this is where the driver will have his brew, will have his cuppa, will have his sarnies. Get the sandwiches out, get the kettle on. Can we see a train coming down there through the mist? Can't actually see one. I don't know how long we've got to wait. So we'll hold off going on the Steam Forum just for a little while. We won't put a complaint in saying we stuck it to red light and the game's broken. We'll uh, <laughs> just wait a little bit longer. <laughs> just to see if a train is actually coming down. like real life you see simulation simulation gaming I hope Rivet Games actually do more of these Swiss routes they've got some fantastic ones for train simulator I hope they do um, there's no sound differences when you put the window down never mind I hope they uh, I hope they do um, more the train sim world. I hope they continue to expand on this line or more DLC or more enhancements make it better um, because I uh, well I'm biased I do like these uh, Swiss routes you see. Oh here we go I can just see through the mist there's a train coming down so that's what we've had to wait for a little bit of patience there we go So that red light should go green, hopefully, yes it has, right, release the brakes, away we go, tally old chaps. It's 
stop at location Peast. Peast platform 2 is that. Estimated time of arrival or our scheduled time of arrival is 11.36. We are currently late. No surprise there. 1.2 kilometers approximately to go. So we're approaching the platform. Don't really want to power off just yet because if we're going up, obviously you power off, you you, you come to a stop. So just go get the timing right here. Light. We've got a red light now. It's just changed red, so. We'll have to be careful. I don't actually stop thinking about stopping the train here. Drifting off there. Falling asleep. Trying to do a nice steady stop here, but 60% uh, on the brakes down there. Yeah, no, we're going to have to hit the emergency brakes, I think. No, oh, we're doing it. There we go. 71% on the vacuum brake in the end. Both the passengers. We're not getting on this train. We'll miss this one. They've got the summer clothes on. Where you, you need a winter jacket on or something. Some of them have got t-shirts on. Now likely you've got your arms folded. It must be freezing up here with that t-shirt on. Right, off we go. Lock the doors. Green light. Away we go. Again, we're going to be late for the next station, which is approximately 2.6 kilometers or 2.5 kilometers now up the line or down the line. I 
up soon. It's up the line because we're going up. I have been up and down this line quite a few times. I have been playing it for a couple of hours. And one or two of you may be wondering my thoughts on this uh, particular line. Um, I could nitpick. I could, you know, I could do a clickbait video on YouTube and, and be nitpicking about this uh, particular line. Um, but, uh, but no, I'm not going to do that. I like to play the games. If I'm not playing them, then I don't like them. If I am playing them, then I like them. And uh, I do like these Swiss routes, um, the train simulator, and I'm glad to see one coming on Train Sim World 2. So, yes, I do like this. I have played it for a couple of hours and I am enjoying it. It is one line, it's just up and down. It's approximately one hour long. Uh, coming down is the most challenging. And uh, yeah, I hope Rivet Games do more lines similar to this, more S Swiss lines. Um, it'd be good to see them on Train Sim World 2. Of course, there is room for improvement. Uh, maybe they will improve it. Uh, like I say, I'm not going to nitpick over it. I'm just glad to see this on Chain Sim World 2. And it is their first attempt, I believe, on a Swiss route on Chain Sim World 2. Overall, you know, I'm quite happy with it. I'm quite pleased with it. There's a few things I would like to um, improve, but. Uh, you know, maybe it's performance issues because, you know, it goes out on consoles now, this game does, doesn't it? It's not a uh, primarily a PC game anymore. So it's available for the PlayStation and Xbox as well as the, uh, the PC. But overall, I'm quite happy with it. I'm quite happy to play it. And uh, I'd just be nitpicking if I was to find fault with it, and uh, I don't want to do that. I think there's enough nitpicking goes on as it is. So, uh, I think we need to start thinking about slowing down short. 600, 700 odd meters is the uh, platform ahead of us. So we are climbing on quite a steep gradient here, so I'm not going to reach his throttle just yet. Oh, there we go, we've gone on a flat, so. I shall. Uh, reduce the throttle now. And we're just rolling. Oh no, we've gone on another gradient now. It's quite a steep one, so I need to get the uh, the throttle kicked back in. And it does take quite a bit of time, actually, for the throttle to kick in. There we go, the throttle's just kicked in, so... Or power back up. <laughs> I thought we were on a flat there and it was just going to be easy but now we've gone back onto a, a steep bit so I need to power up otherwise we just we're just going to come to a halt. So 
the station. It's just around this corner. So we're back on a level piece. Hoot the horn, let the passengers know we're coming in quite fast. A little bit of break. I've only got four percent on, but we're not we're not we're not it's not actually slowing us down. There's a red light as well. So um, yeah, I think we are I think it will be a good idea now to put quite a bit of brake on. We've gone past the halt sign. Oh no! Oh no, see if it's failure! Signal passed. Oh no. It means I'm not going to start again. Luckily, luckily, we can uh, we can load the. Uh, what we shall do is this wasn't planned at all. We can load the last checkpoint. So, so here we go. Take two. Right, so um, yes, chaps, we will uh, we will we will proceed and uh, roll into this uh, this station now like a like a pro. We will pretend what previously happened didn't happen. So stop the train wobbles and proceed to open the doors and load the passengers. Look at that, like a pro. Now, now, forget that, what happened. <laughs> we'll just forget all about that. Nobody wants to get on the tray wobbles. Nobody wants to get on it. We don't want to get off it either. Can we actually, uh, let's just, uh, let's just go in here. There we go, open the door. Can we go in? No, no. I think we've got to actually get out of the driver's seat to go through the carriageway. We are on one of the external camera views here, so. But let's just see if we can open this door. Yep. Yeah. Cargo area at the back, all very good. They would all have their skis and bicycles on here, of which there isn't any. Notice the bar? There, that's that's a nice little feature. Can we close the door? Close the door and the bar comes down to lock it. Looks health and safety. Absolutely brilliant. There's no skis though. Here we are. Can we open this window? Maybe it's because we're in the external camera view that we, we can't do that. But we can open the doors. Why can't we open the window? The windows do actually open. Won't let us in in the external camera view. But later anyway, so we might as well just do a little bit of messing about and not having a having a, a little look at this uh, train. So um, let's actually get out and go into the uh, the carriages down here, and we'll have a we'll have a little look. It's that mad driver. Hello, madam. Put your window open, madam. Bit of fresh air. This should open. There we go. Bit drafty. Bit cold. Put the window back up. Don't like the view. Put the blind down. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Right. I suppose we should close the door. Be thinking about getting on.
this next station is possibly the end of the line. I'm not 100% sure though. We will see, we will see. The old icons in the top right hand corner is saying we are approaching a red light so we will proceed with caution also I may have to reload again from the last checkpoint I think this is the final stop and we're late quite considerably late there we go unlock doors let's just have a look at the uh, look at the train here There is, of course, a few different liveries. Um, the, the, uh, the crest on the side, where you see the name, I have noticed there is uh, there's a considerable amount of different liveries uh, for this loco regarding the numbers and the uh, the crest on the side. We've got a red light. I don't think this is the end of the line. Actually, I think we've actually got to go just slightly further, possibly. We will find out here anyway. Lock the doors. Ah, no, it's not the end of the line. I thought it was. We have got a red light, though. So, uh, let's release the brakes. A bit of power. We'll go. Oh, we're rolling back. We're going backwards. It's a long way down. It's a long way down. Power up walls. That'd make a funny video, wouldn't it? Just rolling backwards. I wonder how far we could actually get before we, uh, we derail. So we've got a red light here once again. Ah, there's a train coming. There we go. Another loco coming down the line here. Give him a wave. Hello. I'm rolling backwards again. We're going backwards. Put the brake on. We're still rolling backwards. Put the brake on. <laughs> Full service. Right. 
Right, so we've got to. Uh, there, they, there we go. We go green. We go green. There we go. Let's go.
so the next stop is the um, Rosen platform, one north. And that will be the, uh, the final destination. So we've travelled up the line today, as I previously have mentioned that. Uh, it's a lot more difficult coming down. We'll do that in a future video. And uh, maybe we'll do a summer run or an autumn run or a spring run. I chose a winter theme today because uh, that's one of my favourite themes, weather scenes on the, uh, on the Swiss lines. interesting to see if we actually get a medal at the end of this <laughs> I don't think we will we've messed around slightly and uh, we ran that red light didn't we and had to reload from the uh, from a checkpoint so I think actually getting a medal today is uh, most definitely off the uh, off the agenda has forgotten to close the door there. Look at that. I wonder who that was. Health and safety, somebody's not doing their checks. Well luckily there was no there's no bicycles, luggage or skis in there anyway, is there? But uh, not a good idea to leave the door open on that uh, rear carriage. Wobbles. Final stop, end of the line. Well, 
like I say, I don't hold out too much for a medal. But we, uh, we will see. Don't go through the red light. That would be a disaster. I've already had one of them mishaps today. Unlock the doors. Load passages. I think this may be the end of the line. Let's just go down here, Luke. Somebody left the door open. Let's just shut that. We don't want the station manager seeing that. We might get fired. <laughs> There we go, that's the end. Debriefing performance. I don't think we're going to get a medal. I'd be really surprised if no, we haven't got a medal. Well, that was to be expected. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smack the like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe for future videos of Train Sim World 2. I will try to get some Train Simulator videos up. I've got uh, quite a bit of content for Train Simulator as well. And uh, I would like to get some of them up as well as my usual fishing videos and trucking videos. Not done Snow Runner for a while either. Um, so hopefully um, we may get a few of them up as well. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Stay safe.